Welcome back to Ace of Vegas, Spinners and Sharks, Ace here, and I hope you're doing well. Now, for today's video, we want to go ahead and celebrate the fact that I made VIP level 2 for free just by the skin of my teeth, mainly because I did forget to play while I was out in Vegas filming the Vidara trip, but because I did manage to make it there, we're going to have a look at something completely new today. We are actually going to have a look at all of the win slots calendars. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. So, under normal circumstances, there's only one place to get the calendars for win slots. So, if you do make it to a certain VIP level, you have an option with calendars. As a VIP level 1 player, you're only able to see the buffet calendar. But, once you've hit VIP level 2, you're able to look at the Resort King room as well as the Win Resort Double rooms. So, starting with the buffet, we do have the calendars available here. They typically run about 6 months out. If you're planning a trip for December, it looks like you're going to be out of luck after the 19th. Not just for yourself, but also for yourself and a guest. Uh, the 30th and the 31st surprisingly have some dates open, so it looks like it'll be a good place to go if you're looking for a New Year's trip. January is looking pretty open so far, and it looks like they've also refreshed the guest calendars for January of 2020 as well. So two people going in January, good time to go. February is looking uh, more or less the same. You guys have probably noticed that the gem rates are all about the same across the board for the buffets. Since they're so new, they haven't had a chance to fluctuate, and thus far it looks like 1,200 gems seems to be about it. March is also consistent across the board. No particular day that's better go to compared to another one. April for two comp vouchers looks like it's pretty open except for the 12th for some reason. Not sure what show they're doing, or maybe they just have a lot of people already booked on the 12th, but that looks like it's going to be a blackout day. Looks like Memorial Day weekend is going to be a really rough one for win slots, not just for yourself, but also for yourself and another player, and it looks like the whole weekend is going to be blocked out if you're looking to get two guests on a single account. So if you are going for that Saturday, make sure you have your partner playing another game. Also avoid the 10th. Again, not sure why. Must be a different show or a festival in town that's going to hinder them a little bit. And it looks like the calendar stops the first week of June. So the whole first week of June you're covered if you're going by yourself, as well as if you're going with somebody else. And then the additional dates will flow in as necessary. But now let's move on to the Wind Resort King. So you'll notice that the gems are a little different here. Uh, they do fluctuate based on the day and they're proportionally set up based around the prices. Now the good news is you can still get in on Christmas if you want to go ahead and travel for Christmas, but the bad news is you'll be in Vegas for Christmas. Make of that what you will. Some people prefer that, other people prefer to be home. It's all up to personal preference, I'm not going to judge anybody either way. And I'm going to say, you know what, you made the right decision. So if you're looking for a good time to go to win, it's not going to be New Year's, so you'll definitely be able to eat there, but you won't be able to stay there because those are blackout days. So if you really want to go, best deal right now, weekend before Christmas. January is looking a little bit rough. We have a couple blackout days the first week, and those are some pretty high gem rates too. And then the second to last week also has a spike in gem rates with a couple more blackout dates. Be aware. February is looking very much the same, except we're losing a couple more Saturdays. The rates are still pretty low, but it looks like Valentine's Day is going to be a really rough time to go, so that's not a good weekend for the win. Don't do it then. Good news for my birthday, looks like it's going to be available. Bad news is it's going to be a little bit pricier. We're looking at about three to 4,000 gems rather than the lower level uh, 2,000 to 2,600 gems the week after it. But it looks like spring break is going to be a really good time just because the gems are so much lower that first week of spring. For the first week though, looks like we have more blackouts, probably a big convention. Interestingly enough, April gets pretty expensive after the first two weeks. Uh, it looks like mid-April around tax day is going to be the best day to go if you want to squeeze in an April trip. Because after that, they are counting on those tax refund dollars screaming in. And if you're starting off summer vacation in May, you definitely want to make sure you're going after Cinco de Mayo, but before mid-May, because that's when it's starting to get a little pricey again. And luckily for June, it looks like we've already got a full set of calendars here. So June has no blackout dates, so if you're looking for a good time to go, looks like June's going to be great. Only downside is it's going to be a little warmer there. Be aware. Unfortunately, this is as far as the Resort King calendar goes. So if you're looking for a good time in July, avoid the July 4th weekend because there are no comps available. Otherwise, it's looking pretty open and actually pretty consistent on the pricing. 
immediately the December calendar for the doubles is looking pretty oppressive. Um, aside from realistically just the next couple days, there's no time to go there where you're going to be able to take advantage of a comp. And it looks like those oppressive blackout dates are still coming through. It's looking a little more similar to the original Resort King calendar, so I'm feeling a bit better about that now. And February is also looking clean. It's a little more expensive in February here, especially around the 14th, around Valentine's Day, which I find fascinating. I figure that uh, Valentine's Day, you'd probably be jacking up the price of the single uh, single bedrooms compared to the multi-bedrooms over there because, you know, it's Valentine's Day and they want to fill that bed, if you know what I mean. You know, everyone's going to be watching a lot of TV. But I suppose that's how they want to run their business. Let them do it. Uh, first week of March is going to be a rough one. Um, again, not sure what's going down over there, because I'm pretty sure March Madness doesn't start to... Oh, wait, I might have answered my own question. And also, if you're looking to get away with a couple of friends, looks like tax day is going to be the best bet. Mid-April is looking very, very affordable as far as gems go. Gem rates as low as 2.4 thousand gems, so 2400 gems, not too bad. That's about a week's worth of play. That's very, very easy to obtain. Uh, May's looking very similar to the single resort room. I just find it kind of fascinating that uh, looking at something like a 5 to 10 percent increase for the uh, double rooms compared to the single rooms, I'll have to see if those are actually larger, comparatively speaking. And June is looking pretty open. Again, if you guys are willing to sit through some of that oppressive heat, you actually might be able to get a pretty good deal. Looks like some of these rooms are going as low as 2,600 gems during the week, and the weekends aren't too bad. Uh, we're probably sitting at 5,500 for the most expensive room. And it looks like they're short for a couple of weeks in July. The calendar doesn't go any further on that, and it looks like it doesn't go any further than the 20th. Don't expect any fun times for the July 4th weekend if you're looking for a comp. But anytime after that, if you can beat the heat, this is the time to capitalize on those wind gems. Alright guys, so that's about it for the calendars, at least for now, if we're looking at wind slots calendars at level 2. Um, now, if you do have the VIP level 3, 4, and 5, then you get a 15%, 20%, and 25% discount, respectively. So don't forget to factor that into your calculations for gem prices. I'll see if I can update this at the start of every month, uh, just as necessary. Uh, but if I don't get around to that, there are a couple other good resources for it. So unfortunately, unlike my Vegas, Win Slots doesn't put this up on their website. So you have to earn VIP level 2 to get those calendars. But if you're looking for a good resource, you can always drop by the Win Slots Tips and Tricks group. I'll leave a link to them in the comment section below. Or also, if you're looking around on YouTube, Sofa Travels is another Vegas tuber that also specializes in Win Slots, very much like I do over here. So if you're interested, I'll go ahead and put a link to their channel in the description box below. They also seem to update these Win Slots calendars once a month. All right, Spinners and Sharks, that's all the time we have for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate a like, and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Next time, we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about a different game. We're going to go back to our roots and talk a little bit of My Vegas because there's a new neat trick that you can use to get a couple extra loyalty points without playing a single hand of blackjack. Stick around. But until then, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys.